improve the lighting in the garage. So for you that really don't know that much about lighting or for you that don't really care about lighting because you're not making videos every day, well it's interesting because everybody takes Snapchats and everybody does Instagram and, and selfies and things like that. Saying that it's kind of cool to know how lighting works. For example, I have light facing me right now so I got I have good lighting. So if I took a selfie right now, the picture looks good. But if I try to take a picture right now, it's not as good. So not only am I trying to like help you out when it comes to selfie time, but I'm also showing you behind the scenes on how I'm going to make my lighting better and improve it. Let's get to it. Speaking of cell phone selfies and applications, this video is brought to you by Vikings War of Clans. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. I personally do dig the new application and I always have loved strategy games. Like that's all I ever played as a kid. If you want to download this app, the link is in the description. It also comes with a bonus. Play it for five minutes. You'll see why everybody's addicted. What type of applications do you like? Leave in the comment section below. Without playing any more games, let's get to it. the quality of the lighting in the garage is actually pretty good but I want to improve it for the really really sunny days that we're going to have in the next couple months because I want to give you the best quality that I can possibly give you without busting out the movie cameras and stuff like that. Saying that I bought a couple blinds to hopefully fix this issue because let's face it I want to get the shot. Don't you want to see the shot? You want to see the shot. I know you want to see the shot. <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> I forgot the brackets. I have them now. Let me just explain. These things are awesome because they actually come longer than this and then at the store they cut them for you. And it's so quick and it's so fast, it's awesome. For some reason they really satisfied me. The guy who helped me, his name was Chris. Thank you, Chris, for allowing me to get a shot. Unfortunately, he didn't remind me to get brackets. It's not your fault, it's, it's mine, but. It says right on here, don't forget the brackets. I forgot the brackets. I now have the brackets. Booyah! Looks good. Before, after. Oh baby, do I dig that. Now I got two more to go. This guy's next. I'm really looking forward to getting rid of this green thing. Before I move that green thing, I forgot to mention my girlfriend actually hooked me up with the brackets. She was near Home Depot, she picked them up. I gotta give her thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it, babe. Oh yeah. I don't know why, but I'm extremely hyped about this whole lighting situation. No shadows, no reflection. Awesome. I have one more idea for a blind. This one's a little bit more retro or a little bit more modern, however you want to look at it. But with this one, I want your help. I'll explain after I'm done cutting. fascinated with behind the scenes, whether that was a movie, a TV show, or a YouTube video. How many of you have seen Jeepers Creepers? I think there's a first and a second one. I don't think there's a third one, but maybe I'm wrong. I remember watching the second one and being so fascinated with it and being so fascinated with that character that I did like research on that movie and how they did it and, and what had to go into the makeup and stuff like that. And at the end of the DVD, you can like see the bonus footage and stuff like that. Like that just fascinated me. 
I don't know, is there a movie like that that you've done research or you've watched the deleted scenes or things like that? If so, that's kind of what I want to show you right now with my blinds and stuff. This is what goes into making shots. I mean, you lose a whole day doing this, but that's the price you have to pay when you make videos like this. Okay, this is no longer fun. It's really raining out. The rain came and now it's already gone. Look at that pretty BMW. Yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get to the BMW, I promise. because we need some license plates on this thing. Gotta make it look fucking fresh. My P.O. box is in the description. Send your license plate and it'll be famous! I don't know what I like better, the smell of fresh cut wood or the smell of fresh burnt wood. I got the shot! Now let's turn off the camera, actually see something. <laughs> and it stays up by itself. I had Cole the carpenter, he's helping me out. He's hooking me up. Thanks, Cole. No problem. So there's a reason why I had to put this on. Cole, show them. If we didn't put that on there, then that wood would hang and eventually take out all my spray paint. It took a lot of time to put that spray paint where it is. We're gonna tie this sucker down. Bring her down. Teamwork, brother work, makes the dream work. Yes. <laughs> We're like the right brothers. <laughs> the right brothers. We put up a piece of plywood on a, on a door. Next, airplanes. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production and this behind the scenes. I also want to thank Cole. Cole, thank you very much. I really Welcome. do appreciate it. These turned out excellent. Like, super excellent. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Question of the day, do you guys dig the new lighting? See you later. Stay froggy fresh. 3D Machines out.